Ruth here, and this is, as you see by the sticker, uh, the um, this was sealed with was used to seal the box. Of course, they did it upside down. But anyway, I managed to get it off without ripping it, which was great. So then I could stick with the other stickers. Um, as you can see, this is a mandrake, so that means this box is the Magical Plants box. And let me just tell you, it is box from July. I'm pretty sure it's that month. July. So I'm still waiting for two more, I believe, which is, uh, what's it called? Lemos and Knox and... Um, well, it's a Christmassy one, I think. So, uh, let's, let's get this open. Ooh, we got some, is it dirigible plums or something? The, whatever is grows in front of Luna of Contents. Okay, so first we got this uh, t-shirt, and this, um, there's an Andre. Warning, earmuffs must be worn. Mandrable, uh, who create exclusive. So let me just lay it out and I'll show you. Here it is. Okay, uh, you can see the baby face right there. I personally would never wear it. I personally don't actually really like mandrakes, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, so you can find this on my um, eBay. And while we're talking about eBay, sorry, I really need things to go. So, um, there are loads of other Harry Potter stuff and other merch and other, um, stuff in general, other TCG and whatever, on my, um, what's it called? eBay. Yes. So please do check it out. I've kind of got loads of items for... Um, on those uh, multi-buy uh, percentage off discount things. Anyway, here it says Herbology 101 Wall Tapestry. Huh. Um, it will have a, a picture on the, on the sheet. Let me just Magical plants, from foreboding foliage of the Spring Forest to the herbology gardens of the Hogwarts greenhouses, we've cultivated a collection of magical plants to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Wow, that is a very big herbology 101 tapestry thing. Wow. Study up for your herbology owls with this tapestry featuring some of the most well-known magical plants in the wizarding world. Dirigible plums, venomous tentacula, mandrake, mandibus, mandibutina, shrivel face, pufferpool, pufferpod. Can't read. Can read. Accurate is what it shows. I'll uh, show you the um, the entire thing after, so you don't, you know, no spoilers. Okay. Well, I might as well just read out what the shirt was, because obviously it's a shirt. But Mandrake T-shirt. Mandrake root can be used to revive those who have been petrified, but its cries can be lethal. Good thing you don't need earmuffs to wear this shirt. Okay. Um. Next up, we've got. This, I might as well. Okay. 
Okay, interesting. Ah. It is. Keep off the dirigible plums. Dirigible plum magnets. So as you can see, maybe, they are not quite... They're not quite in their little cut out bit. Because some of them were not in the right place. Could be useful. I mean, I can always use a few more magnets on my filing cabinet. Alright, let me just put it back in the plastic packet thing without dropping anything. Okay. Ah, uh, it's still moved. Alright, as, as you can see. So these... Magnetic things. Some wizards believe original plums enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Channel your inner lunar lucket with these magnets. Alright. I mean, I still have that Tom off a little uh, secret chamber magnet thing up there, and they are very much thicker than these things. So, hmm, okay. Next up, I guess we have this. It says Botrical Handkerchief. That's interesting. Um,. Ooh, it feels very nice. <laughs> Let's see, what does it say? Like Newt's Commander, you can take your leafy friend with you wherever you go with the stylish bow truckle handkerchief. It's a very nice dirty box, by the way, too. Ooh. You got like three of Piggott's siblings. Okay, um, let me just lay it out, sort of. Can I even lay it out properly? There you go. Let's go. Like a next commander thing. The initials on the corner. So like. That's the entire tapestry thing. So to be honest, so far, there's only one item left, but so far, obviously I'll be keeping the pin, but uh, there are only maybe the magnet and the handkerchief I keep. Uh, the question of all the magnets, I'm not really sure. Um, but this box was severely disappointing. Shall we say? Severely disappointed. Right, but then the, the handkerchief is very nice. It's more like a well, it's a handkerchief that I would not really put snow on as you said. I wouldn't use it as a handkerchief really. Because it's just very no, I mean, would you really put your snot on that? I have no clue. Okay. It's a very nice box, though. <laughs> Lastly, it's a very nice inside design of the box, though. This box I'm talking about now. Obviously, it goes the other way around. It's upside down right now. But anyway, here we have the pit. Got two backing pin things on the back. It's in gold instead of silver this time. Turn back 2019 Great Ink. Alright, so Great Exclusive. 
obviously. No. It is. Dun, dun, dun. At least it's glittery, let me show you that. It's a Kelsey. I'm not sure if much thought really needs to be done gone into a uh, Kelpie design because it's just mainly a massive green. But at least it's glittery, as I said before. I like the glitter. It's a very nice color. So it looks a lot lighter on camera than it is actually in real life. But I like the glitter. I can stare at the glitter a lot. Don't like personally touching glitter, but I like the look of it. I really like how they emboss or whatever the uh, inside label name thing and crest. The uh, department for the uh, regulation of and control of magical creatures. It's a very long-winded department, I can tell you that. Anyway, it's a very nice pin. Not something I'd personally buy myself, but there we go. Um, that, that, that's, basic, that, that's it actually, not basically, that is it. Um, the next pin in our Magical Creature series is the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon which often appears as a horse with bulrushes for a mane. Yes. That is everything. Just a little, little close-up. A bit iffy on keeping anything but the pin, really. And it's really not impressed. I'm not sure what I was expecting from my magical plants. Maybe something to do with devil's snare? I'm not sure. But, but, though the tapestry thing is very nice, I personally would not put it up anywhere. Unless I was like taking a picture or something. But yeah. I'm quite disappointed. So let's just hope the next box is better. Since Loot Crate has gone t uh, take been taken over and changed the name to the Loot Company. From what the newsletter says. Yes, so that is it. So be on the lookout on my eBay for these magical items. And that's yeah. I mean, I waited like five months for this box, and yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe more. Really don't look for notifications. Over. Okay.